what's good everybody the rebuttal entertainment is in the house hit the like button hit the subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend today we're going to talk about earl spence jr what's your expectation of earl spence when he returned to the ring and fight adonis ugar you know the man that had layoffs just like everybody else you know car accident eye problems and all kinds of stuff and yeah, he's going to do what he got to do um, to get back in there and do the best against Uga. But what are your expectations? You know what I mean? Every, the main man of the Walter Wade division, Earl Spence Jr. Get out of here. Earl Spence Jr. is not the main man at Walter Wade. There isn't a man at Walter Wade that's the main man at Walter Wade until they fight Keith Thurman and Terrence Crawford. It's just point blank end of discussion. You know, go do what you got to do, but you got to fight them two guys, man. You know, I'm not going to say people's ducking anybody because I don't really use that term duck word, but Earl Spence Jr. You have to fight these guys, man, you know, to be considered the best fighter at 47. And if he don't, it's going to be all well and handy, but they're going to be like, yeah, he didn't fight these guys, so – how can he be the best fighter in the world? You know what I mean? But yet, that's what's going to be said. So Earl Spence Jr., get in there, do what you got to do. It's not a given. It's not a given that he be the Donald Ugas. I'm telling y'all now, it's not a given, man. Man, he come off eye surgery, car accident. He draining himself. He killing himself to make this weight, you know, to prove a point to him. If I was him, I'd have been moved up to 54. But, you know, Everybody do things differently, man. But if I'm Earl Spence Jr. after this Ugar fight, if I don't fight Terrence Crawford or Keith Thurman, I'm moving up, you know. But, you know, he already said what he's going to do. But let me get into this. Let me break this down a little bit further. A little bit further, let me break this down for you guys. So Earl Spence Jr. said he's not going to fight Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman didn't get him a fight. Fine and dandy. He not. He probably don't fight um, Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford won 50-50, something that he should not get. He should not get 50-50, so I wouldn't be fighting him either. So Terrence Crawford expect Earl Spence Jr. to do all the heavy lifting, to do all the heavy lifting and then fight um, Earl Spence. Like Earl Spence did everything. I'm just going to come in and fight. Who gives a pass of fruit fluff or you know what I'm talking about about, about turns um Crawford's past accolades? I don't care three division. Who cares? What have you done for me lately? You beating these B and C class fighters? Yeah, Earl and Keith can beat the same fighters. The same as that guy you just fought, they can beat them too. You know, Ugar might beat some of them. So let's get that out the way. But now let's move to Earl Spence. So I'm gonna go back and forth. Earl Spence, you said you're not gonna fight Keith Thurman. You know, because he didn't fight you. He didn't didn't give you the opportunity. Oh, cry the fuck, baby. Who cares? You want to fight him. You should want to fight a man who talk all that crap, didn't give you the opportunity. You should want to go in there and beat his brains out. But, you know, all you guys that got so comfortable and doing all this stuff and the fans let it go. But well, we're not letting it go in 2022. We want these fight. You know what I mean? You turn off. All you cats, fight the fight. Make the fight. Somebody need to talk common sense to these guys, man. Talk common sense to these guys. What you going to do? Who you going to fight? If you don't fight Keith Thurman, you don't fight Turner Crawford, move up, Earl Spence. Move the freak up. Who cares? You know what I mean? You're not the man at 47. You know, you're just not the man. Turn Crawford. You're not the man at 47 either. You ain't fought nobody but Sean Porter who was already gone. So what's going on with you guys, man? It's just crazy. Spence, your expectations, yeah, you don't care. You want to fight all the top guys. You don't need no tune-up. Fine, but don't make it an excuse. Don't make it a, an excuse. If you lose to Ugas, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear no excuses from Earl Spence Jr. if you lose this fight. You know, sometimes you're on your high horse, but you got ground and pound your ass. You know what I mean? So we don't want to hear no excuse, man. 
My expectations is for you to go in there and knock Ugas out. But you have, why would I expect that? You have not nobody out in a long time, man. And then you come over injury. Ugas might beat this fight, fellas, people. He just might beat this fight. You never know. You can't underestimate people. Determination. You come from another country, you ain't had nothing. Now you hear, man, you can never underestimate people. So Ugas might be Earl Spence Jr. And if you do that, it will throw a big wrench in the water rate division. Wonder why? Because if Ugas be Earl Spence Jr., Terrence Clark gonna be see that sitting down there licking his chops, thinking he's gonna get that fight. But oh no, 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 Terrence Clark, you will not get that fight. That one Al Heyman gonna swoosh and just derail you and kill your ego and your pride and say, Keith Thurman is next. So Man, it's a lot of politics, but it's also a lot of bullshit. That's why you guys should be fighting each other so you won't have to go through this. You know what I mean? Both of you guys are divas, especially you. Earl Smith, you done turned into it now. All the videos and doing all this crazy stuff in these videos, and you still drinking, man. I mean, I don't know what's going on with you, but somebody need to talk to you. Somebody need to talk to you and let you know that um, it's not happening, man. You need to get the seven together. We're not going to accept this mediocrity stuff that you're doing outside the ring anymore, man. We want you to get the life together, man. Come on. You're a champ. Be better than what, the, what you're doing, man. Come on. If Tank can do it, you can do it. But your expectations is great in terms of fighting everybody, yeah. But let me tell you something, um, Earl Spencer. You're not the big fish. And if I was you, I would move up now instead of later because you're going to be drained going to one of them fights and somebody's going to clip you somebody's going to clip you and when you move up to 54 oh man they just the same size as you you bigger than everybody in the water weight division but them guys at 54 is just the same size as you and even bigger and if you couldn't knock these guys out at uh 47 what makes you think you can go up here and beat the mess out of these guys at uh 54 but your will and your desire and your heart will say, I will try my best. That's what you're going to say, right, Earl Spence? I'm going to try my best. I'm going to go up there and show them that I'm a bad man at 47 and 54. But are you really? Are you really? Come on, man. Come on, Earl. Are you really? Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia. You know what I mean? <laughs> when did I tell you knock somebody out? When, I mean, yeah, you're beating them impressively, but, you know, you always holding this man down, but it hasn't been a man down. When was the last time it was a man down, Earl Spence? You know, so if you're going to come talk the talk, you better walk the walk, man. You always you told Sean Porter when you fought him, I'm going to knock your ass out. I'm going to knock your ass out. Told Mike Garcia, you see something I want to see. Mike Garcia is a damn 35-pounder. He's a great technician. But he flat-footed and all that stuff, and you ain't even heard him. Like you said, he said you didn't even hurt him, man. So sometimes you better look yourself in the eye, in the face, and in the mirror <laughs> and say to yourself, am I really as good as I think I am? You know? But maybe you are. But time will tell, man. Time will tell. But I'm going to tell you something. Stop ducking people who duck you. Keep them had other things going on. You know, I mean, he had other things going on. And I wouldn't fight Earl Smith. Even my hand hurt, my my um elbow hurt, and all his injuries. And you know, I got to go fight this big guy at 47 and do my thing with him. But you know what? He will fight you now. He will fight Terrence Crawford now, Terrence Crawford. All three of you guys need to get in there and fight each other, man. And may the best man win. And the winner will be not only the big fish, but he will be the king in the water. He will be the orca. So my words to Earl Spence Jr. is stop being the diva. Get the life together outside the ring. Outside the ring, get the life together, man, because we want to see these fights happen. You know, turn off and calling you all kinds of names and calling you. Everybody say you're scared of them. We know you're not. You know what I mean? We know you're not, man, but we won't, we won't know until you guys fight. We won't know, but since Crawford is being the diva too, I'll keep telling people, the fight will never happen. So Earl Spence, move up, 
fight Jayvok and fight all these guys and get your foot wet. And we're going to see if you uh really the big fish at 54 too. You said you're going to go up there and dominate that division. So if you're going to dominate 47 and 54, but before you dominate 54, you got to finish out at 47. You know, but and I don't blame you if you fight one more fight and move up because we know you're draining yourself, man. But let me tell you, action speak louder than words. If you held on this long, hey, you're going to hold on two more fights, man, because you're not going to get the big money up at 54 that you getting at 47. That's one thing you need to think about. And, you know, turn the car and move up to 54, dig your fight if you guys fight. But it is what it is, man. I just want to tell Earl Spence Jr., He's not the baddest man on the planet. He's not the baddest man at uh, Walter Wade Division. He's just not. He just Earl Spence Jr. until proven otherwise. You got two more little fishes or big fish or frogs or cats or whatever you want to call them to um, beat to justify that you're the baddest man at 47 in that Walter Wade Division. And if you don't do it, shame on you because one of them is under the same banner as you. Rebuttal Entertainment, man. The Rebuttal Entertainment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. And we'll see you guys later on tonight. Talk to you guys later. Peace.